I have today with me our latest recruit, Lord Hesketh. You may have seen the coverage in the Daily Mail earlier this week. Lord H, welcome on board. What made you decide to join UK? Well, I think, Nigel, uh, very simple. Uh, a, a progressive deterioration uh, since we joined. Um, I think, like a lot of your members, actually voted in favour in 1973. Um, I didn't vote for the EU, mind you, and nor did they. We voted for something called the Common Market. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, and what we have now got is a basically a new religion, uh, which I don't subscribe to, which I think is uh, wholly detrimental to the United Kingdom and the people who live and work in the United Kingdom. And um, as they say, up north, enough's enough. And uh, I decided the time would come to make, make a move. We're delighted. And, but you've said to me, you said on the telephone, you weren't going to be an ornament. You were going to be, become involved with the party and give us some real help. No, I, there's no point just saying, uh, I'm here. Hooray. Well, that does no good for anybody. Um, the, there are a number of scenarios coming up which we're well aware of and certainly haven't got the time to discuss today. Uh, which are going to require time, effort, money, everything. And um, I'm absolutely committed to seeing this through to be a success. I mean, if you compare it to Eskies Racing, I mean, we were the smallest team in Formula One, <laughs> rating that, uh, with a sort of power rating of 0.01%. Um, and it didn't take long, for 18 months later, for us to be able to look down from the podium finish and make some. Uh, gesticulative remarks towards <laughs> some of those who have been not entirely polite to us before. Yes. Well, we're used to people being rude to us, of course, in yeah. UK. We've yeah. been accused of being all sorts of things yeah. over the years. Um, but as time goes on, it looks like we're right. Yeah. One tricky question. 20 years ago, Maastricht Treaty, House of Lords, you were the Chief Whip. One or two of our members think, well, he was on the other side of the fence in those days. Well, I think if you speak to some of your members and the way I treated them during that bill and uh, the extreme unhappiness displayed by the Foreign Office Minister was the way that I ran that bill, uh, my heart was not 100% in it. But one thing in politics is that if you accept a job, like being the Chief Whip from the Prime Minister, you do the job to the best of the ability. And I did that, and I got him the bill, and as you'll also be aware, shortly after that, I resigned yeah. my ministerial career. Well, that clears that up. Welcome on board, Alexander Hesketh. I think you're going to make a real difference. If you can bring us the kind of success that Hesketh Racing had, goodness me, we are going places.